In this video, I'm going to show you guys on how to graph an equation of a line. And we'll first talk about the typical situations that we have to encounter, and then we'll go over some special cases. And right here, I have this page of notes for you guys. It has all the information, all the formulas that you need to know. You can go ahead and download this. The links to the PDF is in the description box. Okay, to graph a line, ideally, we want to have the equation in the form of y is equal to mx plus b. And as many of you guys know, this is the slope-intercept form of a line, right? And you see the y is isolated. Okay, and this is how we're going to utilize this equation. First, we look at the b value. We begin with the b value. And let me write it down. This is step one. And this is going to tell us the y-intercept, okay? And that means where to go on the y-axis first. And then next, we look at the slope, which is the m. This is step two. For the slope, we should look at the slope as a fraction. So let me draw a fraction bar, because when we make it into a fraction, the numerator is going to tell us how many times to go up or down. And then the denominator is going to tell us how many times to go right. And this is it. Two steps. You don't need to make a table. And this is the one-two punch to graph an equation of a line. And now let me show you guys some examples. First one, I'm going to show you how to graph the equation y is equal to 2x minus 3. And we have to have a graph paper, right? So let's go ahead and do that right here. So let me see. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. This should be enough. Okay, so this equation, it's in the mx plus b form already. And the y is isolated, right? So we are going to go ahead and look at the b value, which in this case is negative 3. b is negative 3. This means we begin on the y-axis at negative 3. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. We put point right here. This is the first point. And then we look at the slope, which is the 2. m is 2, right? But then as we talked about it earlier, we want to look at the slope as a fraction. So instead of just the 2, let me put down 2 over 1. Because this way, the 2 on the top and it's a positive 2. This will tell us to go up 2 times. From where? From this point. So that's why it's important you begin with the y-intercept. Begin from this point, you go up twice, 1, 2, and we're not done yet because we also have to move to the right one time. So from here, move to the right one time. So we have this point here. Okay? And you can do this again. Go up once, go up twice, and then move to the right one more time. You can do this as many times as you would like, but then two points is enough. And now you just have to connect the points with a straight line. And this is the graph for this equation. That's it. And now let's look at the second example. For the second example, we are going to graph the equation y is equal to negative 1 over 3x plus 2. So still in the y is equal to mx plus b form. So that's nice. We begin with the b value. b is equal to positive 2. So we go right ahead on the y-axis. b is positive 2. So it's this right here. So put a point at positive 2. And then we look at the slope. The slope is the number in front of the x. As you can see, we have m equal to, usually the question may be written in this way, right? Negative 1 over 3. But I will tell you guys, put a negative on the top all the time, because this way we can be consistent, okay? When you have negative, always, always put the negative on the top. This way it's just more consistent. So let me look at the m as negative 1 on the top over 3. And you see, by looking at this, the number on the top, which is the negative 1, it will tell us to go down because it's negative. Go down one time. The bottom should always be positive. 
So that's why it should always be going toward the right. Anyways, going down one time from here, and then move to the right three times. So going down once, and then one, two, three to the right, and put a point here. And once again, you can go ahead and do it again. Go down once, and then one, two, three to the right. But then this should be enough, right? And you are done. That's the second example, how we graph this. Okay, for the third one, we're going to graph 9x plus 3y is equal to 0. Unfortunately, by looking at this equation, I cannot tell you that 9 is the slope. Because this equation here, it's not in the form of y is equal to mx plus b. The trouble here is that the y is not being isolated. And that's exactly what we have to do. Okay? So right here, looking at this equation, our goal is to first isolate the y so we can have this form. 9x on the left-hand side, that's the one we don't want at the moment. So let's subtract 9x on both sides. So that this and that will be cancelled. And then we will see this is going to be positive 3y. And that will give us negative 9x. Let's put that down first. And you can put down plus 0. But then plus 0 doesn't matter. Let's just leave it as how it is. And now this is 3 times y. So we will have to divide both sides by 3, right? So that, this and that will cancel. And we will get y, which is by itself now. And that will give us negative 9 over 3. That's what? That's negative 3. And that's x. And that's the equation. y is equal to negative 3x. And let me just do the graph paper right here real quick. So let's see. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Something like this should be enough. Okay, in this case, y is equal to negative 3x. What's the b value? It seems that we don't have any, right? But in this case, you have to know that b is equal to 0. The y-intercept is 0. You just have to match the form. And 0 is actually a number. We do have the y-intercept. Still, go to the y-axis, and you see this is y is equal to 3, y is equal to 2, y is equal to 1. And this is where y is equal to 0. So you have this point right here. That's the beginning point. Next, we look at the slope, the number in front of the x, after you isolate the y. m, in this case, is negative 3. But let's look at this as negative 3 over 1. You see? Put the negative number on the top. This way, negative 3 tells us to go from here, go down 3 times. 1, 2, 3. And then move to the right one time. So from here, move to the right one time. And two points is enough. This is it. And you, you can now just connect the dots. Like this. Next one. Okay, for number four, we're going to see how to graph the equation 6x minus 8y is equal to 16. Can we tell what the slope is and what the y intercept is right here? No, right? We have to do some work first. And the work is, we have to isolate the y. We have to write this equation in the slope-intercept form. So let's go ahead and do that. So right here, we have 6x minus 8y. We don't want to have the 6x right here, right? So let's subtract 6x on both sides. So that this and that will be cancelled. And then we will have negative 8y. That will give us, let's put on the x term first, negative 6x. And then this is a plus 16. And now, this is negative 8 times y. We will have to divide it by negative 8 throughout this equation. So divide this by negative 8, and also divide this by negative 8, and also divide this by negative 8. Divide everything by negative 8. And I'll recommend you guys to do this, because this way you can reduce the fraction individually. OK, the y is isolated now, and we will get, first, this is negative 6 over negative 8. We know it's going to be positive. 6 over 8 is going to be what? Divided by 2 on the top, divided by 2 on the bottom, right? So 3 over 4. So let's put that down. Positive 3 over 4 after you simplify negative 6 over negative 8. And this is still the x term. Don't forget to put on the x. 
and then we have plus 16 over negative 8 that's going to be minus 2 and this is what we have and let's go ahead get our graph paper ready and let's see 1 2 3 4 and let's see 1 2 and let's see 1 2 this should be enough and now let's see we begin with the b value which is negative 2 so we go right here negative 2 is here on the y-axis be sure it's the y-axis next the slope which is positive 3 over 4 so you go right here you go up three times so one two three and then you go to the right four times so from here one two three four and then you put another point here and then connect the dots and you will be done right just like that my graph may not be perfect but you get the idea you make your perfect graph on your own paper okay now let's go for the special cases and let me write that down first we are going to talk about the special cases on how to graph an equation of a line I like to write down the word special because once I write that down you guys will feel special right anyways first we are going to see how to graph the equation in this form when we have y is equal to just a number this is not hashtag this means a number okay y is equal to a number and notice that there is no x well this right here can be super easy because it's just conceptional seriously this is the graph that we are going to get all we are going to end up with is just a horizontal line so let me just put on something like this for you guys whenever you are trying to graph y is equal to just a number and there's no x you just have to look at what the number is and then go ahead and grab that horizontal line and this is the first special situation because we only have y is equal to a number right well we had y is equal to a number can we also have x is equal to a number sure thing right so on the other hand we can also have x equal to just a number and you see earlier this was horizontal and now what when you have x is equal to a number vertical isn't it so i'm just going to draw you guys a vertical line whenever you are trying to graph x is equal to a number you just go to that number and draw a vertical line okay that's all so let me write that down right here as well all right before we work out some examples let's also talk about the slopes of the horizontal lines and also the vertical lines the slope of the horizontal line you see imagine you are walking on the flat surface there is no decline there is no incline right it's just flat for horizontal line the slope is equal to zero zero degree incline zero degree decline okay slope is equal to zero for horizontal lines however what's the slope of a vertical line is it possible for you to walk <laughs> vertically like this from bottom to the top not possible and you cannot say there's no slope okay so because the word no um, well in reality it may mean the same as zero but in math zero is the slope for horizontal line and for vertical line the response is going to be the end is undefined and maybe later on I'll show you guys what we mean by undefined slope in the computational um, sense so two things you have to remember y is equal to a number it's horizontal the slope is zero and then for the x is equal to number it's vertical and the slope is undefined so at the end, I'm going to show you guys these two examples for the special cases for this one we're going to graph x is equal to 3 special case because I don't see y right and this kind of equations it only requires three seconds for the graph let me show you the first second is for the x-axis and then for the second second is for the y-axis and then the third second is okay x is equal to 3 and we go to when x is equal to 3 and you see this is the x-axis right and the little line on the x-axis is vertical that should remind you you will get a vertical line the third second 
is to draw that vertical line when x is equal to 3. And that's it. I know some people are going to comment, hey, that was 20 seconds, but I'm teaching. Anyways, right here, it seriously requests just 3 seconds. And this is it. And by the way, what's the slope? Slope for vertical line is undefined. Okay, this is the conceptual part you have to remember. And now, graph y is equal to negative 2. Only 3 seconds, right? First second on the x axis, second second for the y axis, the third second, y is equal to negative 2, right here. Done. And you can indicate if you would like this is negative 1 for the y, negative 2 for the y. On the y axis, the little line is horizontal. So that should remind you the graph is also horizontal when you just have y is equal to a number, yes, no x. At the very end, what's the slope of this line? m for any horizontal line is 0. Okay? Hopefully this video helped. If it does, please comment down below and let me know and hit that like button. See you guys next time. Okay. That's it.